Hello everybody, Walters954 here coming at you guys with an OBS tutorial on League of Legends and the scene switcher feature in OBS. So this will automatically switch the scenes down here. So let me just run this preview and it's going to be like a in-depth one because the first one was a little bit fast. So I'll go through pretty much everything that I know on scene switcher and I'm doing this actually what for the third time now first one I messed up on the second one um what happened something happened with that one. Oh, the black screen it's a little early in the morning and I didn't even been a little bogged down with like schoolwork and things like that so I haven't been able to one quality check that last uh, scene switcher video that I put up there so if you haven't seen that great uh, if you have seen it this is the new one so um, Anyways, let's just jump right into it. So the scene switcher is built into the OBS like regular version. The, there is a multi-platform version which I'm recording with and it has like a different UI and things like that. It's not built into this one. So first, just make sure you have the non-multi-platform version. I think they actually renamed it. So let's go OBS. It's a little early in the morning for me. I've been bogged down with uh, schoolwork. So OBS Classic is what it's called. So Scene Switcher is automatically built into OBS Classic. And what it does is it switches these scenes down here depending on what application you have op open. So if you want for whenever you're on um, like Chrome, you want it to automatically switch to this scene, which would be my desktop, which is showing here. Or if whenever you're on like... Uh, your notes and then it automatically switches to uh, monitor too so things like that um let's go ahead and start out so in the beginning like if you had a fresh set of obs like this would only be like scene all i did was you would only have one of these and all i did was rename it to desktop simple enough what we need to do is add more scenes because we're going to switch from the league client which is this one and then the league uh, we'll call it the game engine which is when you're actually playing the game so the client is like all of the information just when you're not actually playing the game so like change your runes and masteries and, and champ select and uh, you guys can add me if you want um, so we're gonna add a client and we'll add a source so the scenes ha can have multiple sources because sources can be like overlaid on top of each other. So um, the source is what's going to be displayed on here. So you can have like source desktop or source monitor 2, source Chrome, whatever you want. So we're going to add a pretty much like game capture and I'll call this league client and you'll see why I like game capture a little bit or actually right here because there's a stretch image to screen uh, option so that kind of breaks the aspect ratio and makes it um, stretch the game all the way to the correct size so there we go looking at that and it now has the game client in a scene we're going to add another scene called game engine we add a source, game capture, the game. And we'll hit this drop down and we'll see, well, hey, um, where is the league game? Well, it's not actually an application that OBS can see because it's not running. So let's start up a custom game. I would recommend you guys doing this in a custom game before, uh, so you can basically just test it out. That's fine. So I have been bogged down by a little bit of school. Uh, it's finals week, last week, something like that. So um, I haven't been able to make any new videos at all, and just been tired from school. But uh, that was no excuse for my last one being uh, basically six minutes in. I didn't I didn't watch over it again. I just recorded it really quickly because somebody asked for help, and then. Um, I recorded it really quickly and there was a like blank spot like six minutes in so that was really bad so I'm doing this again hopefully that never happens again um, we're just waiting for league to load up here so that we can actually 
um, have it in the scene. So, do 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 do. See if I can Alt Tab now. So if you didn't know, you can press Alt and Tab, and you'll be able to see all of the uh, um, windows that you have open. So the one that I'm looking for is this. So you click on it, hit Refresh, and now we have League of Legends TM Client. So that is definitely different from the one that we had before. So let's go ahead and press uh, OK, and now we can see the game engine in the background and I'm loading up so like that's actually back here so let's have this finish just to show you guys you can walk around and then we're gonna actually dive into the scene switcher settings so right now this is recording what's ever going on here in the background so walk around playing regular league blah 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 so if you didn't have the scene switcher set up um, this is what people would be seeing right now because the league client cannot um, It won't oversee the other one, you know, it, it doesn't know even down here It says cannot find window. So it's just a blank window. So um, it should if you get this set up properly the game engine will um, Automatically come up next basically is a good is a good thing about it. So um, I think we can exit this Yeah, let's exit <laughs> Sorry for the sniffles, it's early. So now that we have our client and our game engine scene set up, what we need to do is go into our settings, scene switcher down here. I wonder if I can make this big screen. I don't think so. Settings, no. All right, so scene switcher, and I have a bunch of scene switchers already set up, and I'm actually just gonna remove all of them. So it's like we started from the beginning. So here are all of our different, um, applications that we can pick from and those are the ones that are down here in the bottom so we have pvp client which is this scene right here and i guess i am gonna have to go back on there um and the scene that we want to select from whenever the pvp client is up we want to do the client scene so we'll pick add and then i'm gonna have to go back into the game i forgot but that's okay uh, create we're gonna have to do the same thing for the let me just go first. Oops. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Mundo. Now we're going to have to do the uh, same thing for the uh, game engine. So now for the rest of this stuff, while that's uh, loading up, it is loading up. Um, this is asking for a hotkey that you would want to use. Uh, just to like switch the screens whatever um, I like to use scroll lock because it's a key that I don't really use you can use whatever you want you can move your scenes up and down so this is what takes priority uh, over the other sometimes you can have multiple scenes that have focus but um, you don't really need to worry about this because for most of you guys uh, like one scene is going to have focus or one application is going to have focus so this like has it won't really matter that much because priority won't won't really do anything having them up and down so don't really worry about that um when no window tile is is match matches what do you want to do it wants to know so normally i just default to the desktop so if i'm not on anything that's uh over here in this left column so if i'm not on league or if i'm not on the league game then what what do i want to do you can tell it to do nothing or you can set it to a specific scene so i normally do desktop so whenever i'm not like in a full screen game it'll just default to desktop how often this is how often it's checking so 300 milliseconds that's uh that's fine like i never change this at all start launch if possible so this is uh start at launch if possible this is just saying um, when you start up OBS, do you want Scene Switcher to be on? I don't have it, so it, it's not a big deal. Let's, uh, let's hit apply here, and then see if we can swap back in here. And now we can see uh, League TM uh, TM Client, and that is the game engine that's down here. So I'm going to hit Add, and I'm going to hit Apply, and I'm going to Start my scene switcher so now nothing has happened because I'm default to my desktop and how can I show this um, I'm gonna actually put this in Windows mode and move the window over there we go. No video borderless windowed let's 
actually, can I move this? No, I can't even touch it. Oh, I can. Okay, awesome. And you guys actually see it working right there. So, um, I'm on my desktop right now. I have, I can click out here. You guys can see this putty, Adam. And as soon, let me move this up. All right, let me move this down. As soon as I click into the game down here, my OBS window is going to automatically switch into full screen of the game. So here you go, click, bam. It's like he, it's like it's not actually even down there. So the same thing will happen whenever I switch to anything else. So that is, um, let me exit off of this game. I'll fix that later. Just have to fix it now. Video borderless. Hey, all right. Exit. Leave. So now I'm gonna show you guys that it actually switches back from the client. So on the desktop, and then as soon as I switch to, why didn't that take? Oh well, you can see here like when I'm clicking to other scenes, it automatically switches it back. But the client is supposed to go. It's a little weird. Hey, come on. Uh, I'm gonna press scroll lock to stop that. Let's go to the client properties and refresh this. Press OK. This isn't picking up for some reason. I'm gonna remove this source. It's probably just a naming issue. I do game capture. OK. And it knows it's there, so it's a little weird. Ha. Huh. Okay, monitor 2 is working, everything's working, let me close it out, that's interesting, but I won't leave you guys empty handed, I will figure out this problem, let's load back up our league, oh, well, you guys see my uh, username it's okay oh wait it's got it that was <clears throat> I can't say what that was but um it is working now so put my press score lock again so my screen scene switcher is on scene switcher and if I uh, click on the client it goes into it. I just need like a quick refresh, I guess. I don't know what that was, but you can see that it's going into full screen whenever I uh, tap onto it here. So I hope this guy, this helps you guys out. Um, sorry for the last video. If you haven't seen it, then don't worry about it. I hope this goes a little bit more in depth for some of you guys. And of course, this can be translated to many different games that have multi clients, like um, I think War Thunder does or something like that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, leave comments down below. Thank you for whoever requested the in-depth one and for whoever spotted the six minute uh, error in my last one. So thank you guys very much. Sorry for the delay and uh, make sure to comment and subscribe.